Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to sell templates for Squarespace. Now, if you haven't known yet, there are a lot of people who have started selling digital product and one of them are templates for a website such as Squarespace or even Notions and many more. Now here I am on Etsy and I searched for Squarespace template and the result was actually beyond my expectation. There's a lot of people who sell beautiful templates. Yes, Squarespace actually have their own template that it can be used for free, but some people actually love to customize their website just so that it has more personality to it and it's just elevated their game. So as you can see here, there is a lot of templates and you can actually create a template like this and sell it on Etsy because because these templates can be sold or these templates sells pretty well and they're not cheap so if you want to try and create a digital product you can create templates like this and try selling it out whether it's on Etsy or other marketplace really so first things first, we're going to go to Squarespace right here. If you already have an account, you can go ahead and log in. If you haven't, you can just create an account for free. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in real quick. All right, so I already have several websites here, but those are not the one that I intended to sell. Those are just personal websites. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and create a new website. And then when you click on that, you're going to want to fill in some details just so Squarespace will be able to bring you a template for your website that is relatable to the website that you're trying to build. We don't actually need that template because we're going to create everything from scratch, but I'm just going to show you all of the step before you'll be able to design your templates. So here they're going to ask us about what kind of site do you want to create and you can choose from any of these selections right here or you can also just describe it on this text box right here if you don't see anything suitable to what you're looking for. So let's say that I will want to create templates for fashion website and I'm just going to go ahead and click on next then you can also choose on the goals that you're looking for. I'm just going to skip this for now. And obviously you can start developing your templates from the available templates, but I prefer to build the templates from scratch. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one, then click on finish. And then we wait until the templates editor finished loading. All right, so we're going to want to add the name of our site. It doesn't really have to be anything complicated or anything that is too specialized or too specific. You can just choose whatever it is. This is basically what's going to appear at the heading or as the heading. So let's say I'm just going to name this template as fashion stuff then go ahead and click on next and here you're going to want to add sections in order to build the home page so there are several sections that we can add and obviously i'm going to want to add the intro section and then every section that you click will comes with a template so for the intro i will want to probably this one's right here. It looks pretty nice. Or this one. I'm going to try to bring together a template that looks pretty neutral just so that it's going to be easier for me to customize later on. So I'm going to go with this one. And then after that, let's say it's going to be social section. And then we have about section. Last, let's have the product section. Don't worry too much about the pages because you can always rearrange the pages later on. I'm just going to add all of the selections that I needed for now. All right, then go ahead and click on next. 
and here you'll want to add the pages so currently I have the about contact shop and course I think I'm good with that so I'm just going to go ahead and click on next and here you'll be able to choose on the color palettes for your website so you can actually again select this later on but I'm just going to try and select one for now I'm just gonna leave with this one right now then go ahead and click on next then here you're going to want to choose on your font pairing now I personally think that when it comes to trying to bring an idea besides all the design the colors and everything font is one of the things that is going to give an idea of a design directly into anyone who sees it because when it comes to colors there's a lot range of colors that you can mix and match on but when someone sees a font it will give them a direct impression of what something actually is so I personally like something that screams elegance and simplicity so I really like to play around with fonts like Fino here or Baskerville or Adobe Castlon but this one says a little bit too casual for me I don't think I will work with that and anything with Times New Romans for me just screams work not in a good kind of way like you know documents so I'm not really into it let's see what we can use I think I'm going to use this Halyard micro right here because I feel like with the design that I chose this font goes together pretty well so I'm just going to use that one for now and then go ahead and click on finish all right so once you finish with all of the designed and the sections etc you can personalize your website text even more with the help of Squarespace AI I'm just going to skip it for now so go ahead and click on skip all right and this is the templates that we're going to start with so right off the bat we got sort of like a home page and then we can take a look at all of the pages that are available in which all pages are totally customizable so I'm just going to try and use one page as an example so here on my home page I can see some wordings a button and then the navigations menu and then this animated brand name right here so in order to edit how the text and everything is being positioned all I have to do is click on edit right here so for example I want this text to move to the middle all I have to do is click on this and then click on edit design and through here I'll be able to settings on the line spacing the element spacing so you can see if I scroll on this bar right here the navigation menu is going to change as well as the spacing then I can also change the layout if I want to for example I want the logo to be in the middle and the navigation bar or the navigation menu on the left side etc or do something like this I don't really like it so I think I'm just going to use the original yeah this one's better and then I can change the color if I want to or add some elements if I need it like for example this one's right here only have like the logo place and the navigations menu I can add maybe a cart if I want or language switch all I have to do is just click on this toggle right here and then it's going to turn it on some of the toggle does need some more settings so I think I'm just going to skip it for now and then if I ever want to edit some text all I have to do is click on the text box that I want to chain and start typing it whatever I want and as for the button I can click on the button and then click on this edit link symbol to change where this button linked to however I want it to be 
so I can just remove it and then insert it a new link. Same goes with the navigation menu because I know this text actually is connected to other pages. If I would like to change any of this text right here and link it into other page, I can just edit it through here. Now for this brand name right here, I also have the options to edit it. And once you click on edit and you see there is this squares like this, it means that you can now move everything around and place it to however you want it to be. It's very easy to settings or to design everything according to how you want it to be. And if you ever made a mistake and would like to undo it, all I have to do is click on this button right here and it will make everything just as it is. Now, if you're concerned about how you don't feel like you have any pictures to put into the templates that will make people feel interested, don't worry, you can always go to the website that provides you with free copyright pictures. And one of the websites that I know will provide you with that pictures is Unsplash or Pexel. So these two right here can actually gives you some pictures that you can use because these are just some free stock photos that you can use. So for example, I want to search for a fashion pictures and then choose one for my website. For example, let's say I want to go with this one's right here Then I can just download it for free and then I can upload it into my Squarespace. So I can edit the sections, go to the background, then replace this background with the file that I'm going to upload from my computer. You can also edit the overlay opacity if you want. Now let's say that we're done with the whole website. What we're going to do is you're going to want to save it and then exit the editor. So when you're done with all of the designing and then you go back to your dashboard right here, you'll be able to see on the templates that you just created. And before you sell it, you will want to always, always duplicate your website. Why? Because once someone buys it and then you transfer ownership of the templates, you will not be able to have any access to the templates again. So you'll want to duplicate first before you make any changes or before you start sharing the templates to your buyers. And then what you want to do after you finish duplicating your templates is you're going to want to click on this triple dot again and then click on permission. So when you decided to sell your templates, you will want to make sure that everyone who buys it has to give you their Squarespace email so that you'll be able to invite their email into Squarespace and then you can transfer the ownership and let them do whatever they want with the templates that they bought. And that's basically it. That is how you can create, design and sell Squarespace template. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.